Welcome to New York City Ballet's digital fall season. I'm Jonathan Stafford, the artistic director of the company. Tonight you will see the world premiere of a new work directed and choreographed by New York City Ballet resident choreographer and artistic advisor Justin Peck that was filmed on location around New York City. He chose a song titled Thank You New York by Chris Thiele and the dancers are Chris Grant, Sarah Mearns, Georgina Pascoguin, and Taylor Stanley. The director of photography is director and cinematographer Jody Lee Leips, and styling for the film was provided by NYCB dancer LJ Brown. Please join us immediately after the viewing for a discussion with Justin and Jody, who will share further insights into the creation of the work. I hope you enjoy the film. New York is uh, New York to me means possibility, opportunity, and freedom. There are so many people who live here or visit here who have a story. New York is just like a spear that has been thrown and it's just going at like a thousand miles per hour. It's not stopping. It's just peeling through layers and making all of these new ways of expressing yourself. You can't really compete with it. It's so fast and it always grows. That it makes you want to continue and reach. I'm always reaching ever since I've been here. I think New York has made me want to strive for something better. New York, especially now, is a phoenix just waiting to rise from the ashes. I know it. I can feel it. I can feel the embers. I can feel the energy. I want to go back. I really do want to dance. I want to do all those crazy ballets that I've never seen before. I want to be in front of the lights. I want to see people in the audience. I want to see people in the wings when they're watching a friend dance. I want to talk about ballet. I want to do pirouettes, jumps in class, be a goofball around my friends. I can't wrap my brain around the fact that we can't do anything, even though we're all healthy. It's so different. It still feels like the rug was pulled out from under us and we're just falling and we can't feel the ground yet. I feel like New York is the most precious and long-term relationship in my life and I am not going to give up on her now. As freeing as New York is, it's always presenting those challenges to push through tension in order to make change. through the empty streets No nightmare year is catching us asleep Cause we live to dream Why do we can good company Stars that we'll never see mm -hmm. through the lights of the city.
see the present as a memory Blood rushing back into the country's cheeks And you and me Beating in the heart of the city Welcome back. I'm Jonathan Stafford, the Artistic Director of the New York City Ballet. And with me here today, we have two very special guests, Justin Peck and Jody Lee Leips. Justin is a former soloist with New York City Ballet and the current resident choreographer and artistic advisor with the company. Justin has created more than 40 works, including 20 for New York City Ballet. Among other directing and choreographic credits, Justin won a Tony for his choreography for the 2018 Broadway revival of Carousel, and recently did the choreography for Steven Spielberg's upcoming remake of West Side Story. Justin also serves as an important voice on the artistic team at New York City Ballet, and personally I am so thrilled to work alongside him. Jody is a director and cinematographer with a diverse range of work in film, TV, commercials, and music videos. He is best known as a cinematographer for his work on I Know This Much Is True on HBO, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Manchester by the Sea, and Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene, all of which were nominated for awards. Jody directed the film Ballet 422 that documented one of Justin's new works here at New York City Ballet several years ago. He also directed the film adaptation of Jerome Robbins' ballet New York Export Opus Jazz, which won the Audience Award at the South by Southwest Film Festival. I was thrilled to welcome you back to New York City Ballet when Justin recommended you. So welcome back to the New York City Ballet Thank family. You. Um, so Justin, you served as choreographer and director for this film that we just saw. Mm. What in your previous experience working with some pretty big name directors, you know, some directors who've had a ton of experience where you were working as a choreographer and working side by side with them, what have you learned? What informed you for even a project like this that's a little bit of a shorter film, but you know, taking on directing as well? Mm -hmm. Well, I've always been interested in dance on film. Um, since I started choreographing, I've always sort of dabbled in small projects in that realm, and uh, I just feel like it's, it's, a, it's a medium that our generation can really relate to, and it's a way to reach broader audiences. So I've tried to absorb as much as I can from working with many different directors on many different projects. Everyone from Francis Lawrence to uh, Steven Spielberg to Jody here. And I've uh, just tried to sort of like learn by doing and learn by being in a process with these people. And most recently working on West Side Story, which was a nearly 80 day shoot 
and involved months and months of prep and working very closely uh, with the director and with the team on how to shoot it and in particular how to shoot the dance on film was a kind of master class in how making a movie works and so it, it felt like just a wonderful opportunity to take what I've learned and um, apply it to a project like this and it means the most to me to be able to do that here at my home at New York City Ballet. And you know the other thing I really learned actually from working with Steven is how close of a working relationship and collaboration and sort of like shorthand he has with his DP, his director of photography, uh, Janusz Kaminski. And that was something that I paid very close attention to. And luckily I've had the chance to work with Jody on multiple projects and also just get to know him much more closely on a personal level. And so it was very important for me to have the chance to work with him on this. It was very much a side-by-side -side collaboration on this film together. Yeah, I know in our conversations, that was very much something that was so important to you and was kind of like, okay, this is what I want for this project was Jody. Yeah. So talking about dance on film, what is it about capturing dance that appeals to you, number one, but what also you know is challenging about it besides a lot of the other work you do? Yeah, you know, I think the first time that I worked on a dance film that I can remember was New York Expert Opus Jazz. Um, and I think the thing that really interested me was Jerome Robbins, was learning about his life. And that was kind of like what kept me engaged. More than like filming dance, it was like learning about what was important to him and what he was striving for and why he was unique and just kind of letting that like percolate. And then I think I felt like the way that I would make the film would be, of course, would never be right to him, but would be like as close as it could be if I learned a lot about him and sort of like met the people who were close to him. So, and then I think when I made Ballet 422, also with Ellen Barr, who's now my wife, um, that film came about because Ellen was moderating a discussion at the Guggenheim with Justin about one of Justin's ballets. And I just found Justin fascinating. So again, it kind of wasn't even about like dance to me. It was more about the person. And I've always kind of, maybe it's just in my mind, but sort of drawn a lot of commonality between Justin and Jerome Robbins and the way that they both tell stories, I think in a really unique way as choreographers. So that was kind of what got me hooked on that film. And then, and now, like over the years, I've sort of uh, begrudgingly developed an appreciation for it that I didn't really like try or, you know, go after. Uh -huh. Just from being around it, I sort of fell in love with it. Um, Justin and I have a really special relationship because I think he knows, oftentimes, choreographers and filmmakers speak very different languages. And I've seen that happen so many times. And I just want to kind of rush in between and say like, okay, so like what he's trying to say is this and what you're trying to say is this. And I think with Justin and I, it's like, I know just enough about dance to like kind of be able to, to speak to him in a way that's a little um, beyond the level that like a filmmaker sometimes would be speaking. And he definitely knows a lot more about film um, than most choreographers that I've worked with. And so, and I think he always felt to me like from the day that I remember seeing him on stage at the Guggenheim, he always felt to me like he understood storytelling, he understood filmmaking in a way that I had never seen a choreographer understand it before. So I felt like, there was a language between us. And at this point, it's like much clearer. Um, even though we haven't worked together for a while, it just felt like it was a very easy and challenging in terms of like pushing each other forward in a good way relationship on this particular film. 
Sure. Uh, that's great. Um, that leads me to the next thing. So Justin, why did you make this film? You know, what story did you want to tell? What was important for you to portray in this film? Well, I have a very unique platform and position in how I'm able to contribute creatively to this institution. Mm -hmm. um, and I take great responsibility in that. And uh, I felt like we were coming to a point where we needed to create some kind of expression that felt like it spoke to the moment, that felt like it was revealing of the identity of some of our dancers here within the company, and also was tailor-made to our wonderful city here in New York. I honed in on a particular song that was written by a songwriter and composer named Chris Thiele called Thank You, New York. And he had written it a few years ago. And I always loved the song. It's just this kind of love letter to New York City, uh, which he calls home. And I called him up and I explained this project to him and asked him if I could choreograph something to this song. And I also asked him if he would be willing or up for writing new lyrics that spoke to the moment. And he was, um, he responded with so much enthusiasm and he was just like, oh, I've actually been thinking about doing something just like that. I didn't know what the outlet would be. So this is kind of perfect. Um, and so he went to work and he wrote some beautiful new lyrics uh, to the song and we re-recorded re those um, and started to work on the structure and the composition of the dance and you know from the get-go I knew I wanted to do a series of candid interviews with the dancers where I just kind of like sat down with them and asked them a bunch of questions about how they're feeling right now uh, what is it about New York that is special and meaningful to them um, what is it about what we do as artists in performance that matters to them and we were able to create this kind of collage of sentiments uh, that, um, that lead us into a kind of dance expression once the words sort of stop, once the words fail to reach the full extent of that expression. And that's when the song kicks in and that's when we get um, these kind of dance portraits of these four incredible artists. I remember calling Jody, and he was the one who actually really pushed me to consider shooting um, each dancer's um, content in a kind of like one or single take shot. Or, or initially, I, I didn't have the full confidence to do that, and uh, so that's a, a good example of how you know, for me, working with Jody is really important because it kind of like pushes my vision forward to, uh, to an extent that I wouldn't normally go to on my own. And so we started to design um, very specific dance shots for each artist, as well as a kind of camera language that would associate with each artist and, and create a kind of like distinct way of looking at the choreography. I wanted the locations that we chose to feel like areas where the dancers might like spill out onto to dance so that uh, because the theater and the studios were all kind of shut, shuttered, shut down, that we found places where, you know, Taylor Stanley's in the park, just coming off of a park bench, Gina's on the roof of the theater because she can't quite make it to the actual auditorium space. So she gets as close as possible. Sarah's out in an alleyway down in Chinatown. And, um, and then Chris is on these, these basketball courts in, uh, in Brooklyn. And to me, the basketball courts in New York have always been such a gathering spot for people to come together. It's just like kind of an iconic New York outdoor recreational location. So. Um, so just singling 
in on, on those various spots where it's like, okay, we don't have our, our usual traditional spaces where we can exist and express ourselves as we do. Where can we go to do that? And that became what informed these locations. Yeah, I also have to say, like, I think for me, what can really differentiate um, dance on film um, <clears throat> and make it kind of elevated is when it's not just something that's taken off a stage and just like plopped down onto a place like that's big enough to kind of hold the dancers. And so that was also something Justin and I talked about and something I've always really admired about the original West Side Story. I haven't seen the new one yet, but, um, and like t having those conversations. And I remember when we were on the handball courts um, in Brooklyn with Chris and we were talking about, it's like, oh yeah, like how do, how do we use this environment? So it's not just here, but it's like, we're actually using this environment. And I can't tell you how many times I've said that to a director or a choreographer like in a dance on film situation and nothing comes of it. But I remember showing up and seeing that in that sequence where Chris sort of goes between one set of handball courts and the next and kind of like pushes through that wall and that like Justin thought about specifically about like how to use and adapt this choreography like to this space to this shot um, in a way that works and tells the story. And the same thing for like being on the roof with Gina, you know, the, the movement and the location kind of match the um, lyrics of the song and like, and showing the Met like right when we do in that moment, you know, it just sort of corresponds to the lyrics and it all feels like thought out. It's not just like plopped down there. And that to me makes it so much stronger. It was Jody's idea to have that be like a tracking, just like a single dolly shot that moves, but. Um, I was wondering, so but, that is a single shot? It's yeah. Not, I, I didn't know if it was edited together. Or, no, yeah. that's a single, it doesn't cut at all. And to me, what's, what I found exciting about it after even, I didn't even realize it until after we had shot the film was that it feels like he's swimming upstream, like he's trying to keep up with the camera at moments and there's this kind of like tension and there's even a moment where um, he, he breaks out of the frame a little bit and you think we're gonna fall, he's gonna fall behind and the camera's gonna continue forward and then he bursts forward uh, to, to um, realign himself with the camera there and just like another kind of abstract expression that I think speaks to uh, one aspect of what we're all feeling right now, which is that struggle to just like, you know, keep going and, um, and get through a day. The first time I saw it, it just hit me so deep because I've lived in the city for over 20 years. People who don't know New York as well can also appreciate the film, but I think it really, I think you guys nailed it, being able to speak to New Yorkers in this time of great challenge for the city yeah. and everyone. Well, you know, it's, Taylor says in the film, there's so many people here who have a story and this is really four <clears throat> stories in a, in a very modest way, just four of millions of stories that run through New York City and make it so special and so unique. Well, we're gonna wrap up here uh, this evening, and this wraps up our new work festival, our week-long festival of these new films that we put together. We hope you've enjoyed it. We thank you so much for tuning in uh, with us each and every night, and want to thank Justin and Jody for joining me here tonight and for sharing with us their artistry, their creativity, and just everything you brought to this piece, which I feel is just a really special piece. So thank you both, and thank you all for all your support. Thank you for all you do for New York City Ballet and we will see you again soon. I heard it echo through the empty streets No nightmare years
catching us asleep Cause we live to dream Wide awake in good company Enough for stars that we'll never see mm -hmm. through the lights of the city. Mm 